We had two revelation scenes that day, one in front of the camera and one behind it. A while back when I was the executive producer of Touched by an Angel, I was called to the set one day to solve a problem. I couldn't imagine what the problem was because we were shooting one of our trademark revelation scenes where Tess or Monica would deliver a powerful testimony of God's love to our guest star of the week and the actresses were so skilled at it that the revelation scenes rarely had any problems associated with getting them shot. So I walked onto the sound stage, quite curious to see what had stopped production. Well, the entire crew was very quiet and making a point to give our guest star that week a great deal of space. And I was told by the director that the actor was having a lot of trouble with his lines and couldn't seem to get through his big scene with Della Reese. I walked over to the actor, he was a talented veteran performer, and I asked him what I could do to help. I don't know if you can, he said. I, I just can't seem to shoot this scene, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, instead of pressuring him to go back in front of the cameras and try again, I just sat down and I said, you know, people think this is an easy show to make just because they underestimate the power of its message. Now, the big dramatic scenes in our show aren't about solving the murder or unraveling the mystery or finding the treasure. Scenes like this aren't about being smart or brave or strong. They're about surrendering yourself to something greater than yourself. And that's not always easy to connect with right off the bat. Well, he looked up at me with this sudden urgency and he pointed across the set to Della and he said, that's the problem. She's not acting. Every time she says God loves you, I think she actually believes what she's saying. Well, I smiled and I said, yes, she does. That's the miracle of this show. Nobody's making this up. And then he shook his head. He said, you know, you don't understand. I've spent the last two years writing a one-man show. It's about a famous scientist I've always admired who's, well, he's an atheist. And, and then the actor got some tears in his eyes and he said, I'm afraid I've just wasted the last two years of my life. He went on to explain he was afraid to allow himself to cry during the scene because he might just not be able to stop. I know that there was a time in my life when God was kept at arm's length. I pushed him away and I was pretty much convinced that God wouldn't like me very much if he really knew me. And if I reached out to him, if I let him get too close, well, he might actually show up. And, and then what? Then I might get hit with all that unconditional love and have to actually have a personal relationship with my Creator and then I'd have to start praying and reading the Bible and before you know it, God would tell me I'd have to quit my job and become a missionary and, 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 you know. But just like that actor on that set, I found myself in the most unlikely of places one day where suddenly the truth of God and His love for me hit me with such undeniable power that I couldn't ignore it anymore. And yes, I cried. And yes, I woke up the next day wondering if this meant I had to completely change my life. But most importantly, God took the little bit of faith I had found that day and He made it stronger every day. And it gave me the courage to want to make changes in my life. And I did. And I still do, with God's help. Because the revelation scenes in our lives, the moment we realize that God does exist and does love us and does want to be part of our lives, well, that's not where the story ends. That's always just the beginning. It was for me, and it was for that actor on our set that day. See you soon.